everybody, welcome back to DIY with Danika. And if this is your first time, then welcome. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then please push that button down there and subscribe. And make sure that you tell your friends all about the wonderful DIY tutorials that you can see right here. I know it's been about three weeks since my last tutorial and I do try to have the tutorials every two weeks, but I have been so busy at work lately and taking a few classes at night, so please accept my apologies. Today's tutorial is going to be I hope the last one in my kitchen series. I had my kitchen remodeled this past January and since then I've done a tutorial on how you can make your own curtains and balances to match your kitchen decor. Today I am doing a tutorial that I have been putting off for a while but I have been really wanting to do for a really long time. Today's tutorial is going to be on how I revamped an old and used table and made it look brand new and fit in with my kitchen. For this tutorial you will need the following materials. You will need an old table that you like. Um, for my tutorial in particular, I needed fabric, I needed plexiglass, I needed a sander, um, and some paint. I got lucky and the person who did the plexiglass actually sanded down the table for me. Anyway, check out the following video so you can see how it all went down and how great the table looks in my kitchen now. Welcome to my lovely kitchen and I know you're probably thinking how can this be the source of a problem but here is the problem and it's a beautiful problem. This is a table that was one of my first DIY projects. I took this table which used to be an old 1980s um, tinted glass and wood concoction that was in my mother's garage and I DIY'd it long before I had the DIY with Danica channel and I covered it with tile to match my kitchen at the time which was blue and white. Now as you can see I'm rocking this gray and working with some pinks and reds and things. So I really want a more neutral table and it had been one of my goals this summer to change this table out. And by coincidence, my former employer, great guy, um, was getting rid of a table and I found it in the basement of our um, school. And he was like, sure, take it. So this table has been sitting in my laundry room upside down for almost two months now because I told myself that I was gonna DIY this table. The problem with the table is I wish it were just um, white and it is white, but it has some damage to the top. I have some scuffs where the cardboard is showing through. Looks like maybe a nail went too high here. There's a lump. Um, nothing that, you know, can't be either fixed or covered. And ultimately the table is going to suit my needs. spray painting I'm sitting on top of this plant base so that the grass won't get it won't mess up the paint So we spray painted the base, looks a bit more white now. And now I am attaching the top to the base with these screws and my handy dandy screwdriver. Thank you. 
Okay, so the next step is going to be to take the plexiglass, which I got from a lovely store called I Love Lucite in Culver City. Um, off of the top of the table, they put a plastic coating or cover on it that they said that I can take off to slide my fabric under and put it back on and this DIY will be done. coating on it. Which I can pull off. I can't remember if it was on both sides. I don't think so. And is there one on the other side? There is. Oh man. So this plexiglass one of my more expensive DIYs. This plexiglass cost me about $145, but I needed it for my vision to come to fruition. So the best price I could find after shopping around supposed to be. Next up I'm going to get the fabric that's going to go under here. And I have my X-Acto knife here so I might use that to just cut away the excess once I put the plexiglass on. Sandwich the fabric in there. Ooh, it's just how I imagined. Okay. Perfect. so this is the finished piece I have my table which matches my curtains now I'm so excited my kitchen is finally complete like I had this blue table over here that was the one thing I was out of place and now it's finally complete it's exactly how I envisioned it I think the investment of the hundred and forty five dollars on the plexiglass was a really good investment if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And please make sure that you share this with your friends and family. And remember, if I can do this, you can do this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.